Hello guys, um, welcome to the 11th part of this CSS Jumpstart tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at fonts and how to set fonts. So first of all, um, let's have a look at what we have in our HTML page here. So if you realize we haven't set any fonts um, to, we haven't customized any of the fonts of the H2 element and the paragraph. So let's go ahead and see how we can um, remedy that. All right. So basically by default, if you don't set any fonts, the fonts is um, a fonts are set to a size of 16 pixels usually depending on um, what defaults your browser came but 16 pixels is the most common default all right so let's um, actually have a look at how to modify the font size all right so basically how you change font size is you type font and then size and then give it a value in pixels so let's say we give um, the h2 a font size of 20 pixels all right so let's go in a browser and then refresh as you can see it's changed so h2 is are bigger than um, 20 pixels by default so that's why when we gave it 20 it became smaller so let's go in our paragraph tag and give it a font size of say 40 pixels right so as you can see it overflow overflow its um, container and then went out so that's not nice let's go ahead and change that to 26 pixels and refresh yeah all right so now that we understood font sizes let's have a look at font weight okay so we'll just take this back to 12 pixels or something so it looks nice in the browser so let's go ahead in the h2 element and change the font weight for that so font weight so font weight comes you can either say you can you can put it in either bold bolder inherit lighter or normal or you can actually use these numbers so I usually like to use numbers because then you might be you'll be able to easily customize the sorry about that guys you'll be able to customize the sizes of the um, different fonts easier easier and gradually okay so let's start with um, a font size of 200 so back in our browser refresh as you can see the header became a bit um, the weight decreased so let's increase it to let's say 400 if I refresh the browser, you can see the header weight increase. So let's go up to 800. Refresh, it became even heavier. All right, so that's um, that's how you set font weights on um, elements. And next, we're going to say fonts. We're going to have a look at font style. And font style, you can set either italic or normal or oblique. All right, so we're just going to have a look at a couple. So first, italic. I mean, as you guessed it, it will just slam the text a little bit, right? And then next, if we just go to normal, we just leave the um, font as it is, and we'll have a look at oblique and what that does. As you can see, it just does something similar to italics, all right? Okay, so next, what we're going to look at is font families, all right? So how you set font families is, you type the keyword font family and then you give it a family of fonts. So there's two types of font families. One is a single family and the other is a group of families. So we'll first have a look at um, the single family, which is Times New Roman. And if your font family name is more than um, one word, you put them in brackets. So let's have a look at Times New Roman. So we come in the browser and refresh and as you can see it seems like the, the text was by default times new roman all right so now let's change this to something which is a sing um a group of family called serif okay and we come to the browser and refresh and it seems like nothing happened so let's go ahead and try arial refresh as you can see the font family change that is just the way the font looks as so i happen to know one um family as well it's called comic sans ms comic sans if i get that right let's refresh yeah so that seemed to change as well so basically guys um all these fonts that i'm doing some of them might not be available on some browsers so depending on what your browser um allows um, has installed you might not see some fonts having effects all right so basically it's a good practice um, to give your CSS some default fonts to fall back on so let's say you have times new Roman and if you give it some fallback um, fonts Arial and say something like 
um, Helvetica. Okay, so basically, I mean Helvetica is not the most um, famous. Sorry, it's not the most um, widely available font in all browsers. I'm just using it for illustration purposes. So let's say your font family um, of Times New Roman is not available. Your browser will try to load the next one. And if that's not available, it will try to load the next one. So basically, it's always good practice to give your um, font family properties a fallback. So just in case the user's browser does not have the first um, font in line, it will try to um, execute the next font in, in line, okay? All right, guys, so there you have it. We've had a look at fonts. So we had a look at font styling and font size and font weight and actually how to set font families on HTML elements. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And as usual, if you love this, please do rate, comment, and um, that's it. I'll see you. Bye-bye.